well, they're planted after after you decide that on, piece, on the proper soil, and, and you can source the blueberries. They, preferably, they're the best time of year is in spring when the soil is warm. And the blueberry starts to grow as soon as it's in the soil, and, and uh, the proper uh, water applied, it'll keep on growing. And that's very important when they're first planted is that they keep them watered because that's that uh, they don't have a very deep root system. They only have fibrous root hairs. They don't have a tap root like most uh, most plants. And, so they have to have water. Most of the plantings are, are probably 100 years old or more of the older plants, and uh, uh, that's. But in the real world, why well, nowadays it's, it's more uh, efficient to replace them when they're 20, 15, 20 years old. Younger plants, less disease pressure, and new varieties, more, more productive. The harvesting in this area, in this our zone we'll call it, starts usually the last week of July, 1st of August. It runs through to the end of October, 1st of November now. We have to uh, make, uh, be very leery of all our chemicals we use and we follow the proper application rates uh, for insects and diseases and uh, follow within the guidelines so we don't have a, a residue on the crop, which, you know, which is, would be a disaster. How do we keep the product fresh? Well, that is a, um, very important. As soon as the product is harvested, the berries are harvested, they should go to pre-cooler within half an hour. That's optimal uh, to get the field heat out, and that'll extend the shelf life because uh, when the berries on the plant, the plant acts as the air conditioner, and which removes heat or supplies water to keep the fruit cool. As soon as it's taken off the stem, why well, then it there's nothing to keep it cool, and it could be 70, 85, 80 degrees, so it has to be cooled down immediately. The actual the best conditions for growing blueberries in their native, uh, where they're found in growing the native, is a cooler, cooler climate. They don't like heat as much as uh, the cooler climate. They better flavor in a cooler climate. Um, they like a soil that's a little bit on what we call the heavier side, a little more clay to hold the water, and uh, they aren't really productive in really hot weather. They uh, they, the plants will shut down more, and they don't like wet. Well, actually, if you have too heavy a soil, the feet get wet. We'll say we call it getting wet, but the, the soil zone around the roots gets uh, full of water, and it forces the oxygen out, so the plant shuts down as well. So you have to have a nice uh, sandy loam soil. Try to grow a good crop, um, uh, a good quality product. Um, Without uh, you know, it has good shelf life and, that, that, and keep and keep the uh, the nutrient levels high in the crop in in the fruit, so that, you know that pass that on the consumer who eats the product. One of the one of the characteristics of blueberries is the uh, antioxidants, uh, and it is one of the few uh, you know the, the fruits that taste good that's good for you. I mean they are they're very healthy, very healthy to eat uh, in all, a lot of respects. Good good for your body and. There are 200 beneficial compounds in the blueberry for the human body, and uh, if, I, if I'm correct, the closest to it is a strawberry with 38. And we can improve the flavor by uh, feeding the plant with the proper nutrition, um, with uh, extra uh, extra uh, potassium, which raises the sugars, and, and the calcium, which raises the solids. And, uh, and they basically, you can just... Uh, you can grow them on water alone. They, in the wild, they, they grow quite well in, in parts of Nova Scotia, and all they, all they receive is water, and they get the nutrients out of the air. And, and but they don't, they still don't have as good a flavor as the uh, as a high bush when it's well well nurtured. So the customers love them because it tastes good, and they are healthy for them. We work hard throughout the season to make sure that our fresh country magic blueberries are top quality, but our job isn't done until the consumer picks them up and puts them into their shopping basket. And we see that one of our biggest jobs is to help educate the consumer about the great things within our blueberries. Blueberries have a great reputation in the market for health benefits, but we need to make sure we educate people. And you can see on our blueberry pints that we include our Taste the Colors program, which is unique to country magic and helps explain some of the great health benefits. So you can see in a serving of blueberries that you get 260 milligrams of anthocyanins or 320 milligrams of polyphenols. All these things are there to help the customer understand the great benefits of eating blueberries and make sure that they pick it up and put it in their shopping basket.